Alrighty, I'm going to do another opening here. I have Chewbacca pretty much left for my single figures. After that, I got once I have more space, I can then open up all these set ones because I've got Luke and Kylo and Supreme Leader Snoke, which these two form together, which is kind of cool, and then Rey. Now, I always thought that the Ray and the Luke one went together, but they don't. They're different, uh, different planets, even. So, but I do have Chewie, Chewbacca. This is the third Black Series Chewbacca I've got. This is the one from Solo, a Star Wars story, where Chewie's only 190, I think. I think that's what they said he was. He'd already fought side by side with Yoda at this point. He was probably taken after that when the uh, um, when they raided Kashyyyk and took a lot of the Wookiees prisoner he was probably definitely one of them since he was working with Yoda and the other Jedi so he was a criminal so we have Chewie an awesome looking figure this uh, cool blaster rifle he's got which some of this stuff moves and comes out, I think. I think that tool pops out and, this, and the uh, slide moves. There are some figures, I guess, that don't have the slide. All the ones I saw um, have the slide, which is this one. <laughs> Though I have seen pictures of people finding them without the slide. So that's pretty interesting. Well, that was good. Try to pop these silly goggles out. Now what's sad is, our Toys R Us is closing in tomorrow, is the last day. So, and I just saw a exclusive Toys R Us um, something, I forget which figure it was. And everybody's like, really? That just is going to bite, because if you're in America, the only way you're going to get it, probably, unless Hasbro does another thing. Okay, so this is stretchy, so it'll stretch a little bit. I don't want to pull it too hard, otherwise it'll break. That's pretty cool. That's the first time I think I've seen on a figure a stretchy uh, thing, and it's actually got a little bit of plastic in the goggles, so that's pretty cool. Alright, take this big gun out. Alright, so this is supposed to slide. Yes, it does. Look at that. And it pumps up. And this is supposed to pop out. This is supposed to be a tool for something. I'm not sure what. It's supposed to be a tool for... I think something's supposed to be on the Falcon. Maybe. Not too sure what that's supposed to be for. But that is pretty cool. The little tool pops out and this slides forward and back. So, the prelude to Chewie's um, bowcaster. He gets a big ass frickin' rifle. That is a big ass dude. All right. So now we've got Chewie with all of his doodads. I don't think any of those come off. Just pop him on out. Now they've got bands around him. I heard he's going to get top out with these things. I don't know why they banded him. I don't know. Alright. The bands all fell off. So we've got Chewie. Looking kind of youngish. With his bag. He's got a cross strap. Which is pretty awesome. He's got all of his little... I'm assuming these are grenades. Got a lot of those. So... His arms somewhat move pretty decent. His hands move around a little bit. He's got some movement. Face doesn't really move, but that's because just because he's got a big ass head mold with all of this extra fur, hair, fur, hair. He's not furry, he's hairy. Alright, he actually stands up pretty decent. He's got the big ass feet. So, he's a big ass figure. 
got uh, ooh, I still got uh, what's your name sitting here Let me get that out of the way so that just shows you the size that's pretty almost a scale I have to dig a layout and see but it gives you the size of Kira and you can put a size of a uh, trooper next to him still be a pretty pretty impressive height difference so all right so let's get his accoutrements on get these goggles on him because you got to have the goggles on I'm kind of glad they left the goggles off like that so you could actually you know put them on if you want that fits pretty decent actually I don't know if I want to push him back too much, but that fits pretty pretty good on his head. It's got a little twist on it, but that's okay. So Yeah, he's a pretty pretty impressive. The other two Chewies I've got are also equally as impressive because he's chewy. Alright, is this gonna fit? It's a big ass handle for a big ass gun. His hand doesn't open. Okay, it kind of does. You have to do some maneuvering here. Get the fingers open a little bit. Get past the thumb. All right. Okay, we have to pop his finger up a little bit to get over the trigger thingy. So assuming that's what that is. So it fits a little better into his hand. Doesn't pull it down on it, just pushes in. There. And he's pretty much ready to go. Not too much to open up. But he's definitely got some cool stuff to play with. So that is Chewy. From a solo story. I'll have to make room on my display now for the new figures I just opened up. So, and take some more pictures. So, until next time, I got some more stuff to open.